Hello everyone and welcome to day 26 of 30 Days of Doodles. Today we are going to do some transportation slash road style doodles. So we're going to do a car, a traffic light, and a stop sign. So let's start with the car. The car is probably one of those that has challenged me the most over the years. So this is a very doodly car and I broke it down to make it as simple as possible. So we're going to start with a horizontal rectangle for the body of the car and then we're gonna make another horizontal rectangle on top that is slightly shorter for the windows. So now we're going to round all of this out and add some angles. So on the top, we are going to taper our rectangle down and in and then on the bottom longer rectangle, we're going to round out the corners. So on one of them, I want you to make it a little bit more rounded. On the other one, I just want you to make it slightly rounded. And then at the base of your bottom rectangle, you're going to add a couple more rounded rectangles, and those are the bumpers for the front and back. And then we'll add two circles for the wheels. Next, we'll add these very, very small half circles and rectangles for the lights on the car. And now we're gonna trace over the lines that we have. So remember not to go over those original rectangle boxes that we made. We're just gonna go over those curved edges that we made for the actual car body and the windows and for the wheels. Also remember that your wheels are in front, so you don't wanna draw your car body first. You want to draw your wheels in and then draw in the car body so that those two things aren't overlapping. From here, we're going to erase all of our pencil lines so that we have this fresh, clean template to work with without having to worry about any of the lines that we've previously drawn. So now we'll pick up our pencil again and we're going to draw in the windows on the side. So I'm just kind of following the lines and going about halfway across that top section and then doing the same thing. So making the exact same shape but mirrored on the other side. So those would be your side windows. And then we'll use our pen again to trace over those. Next, I'm gonna pick up my extra small point pen just to add these final details in. And again, if you prefer to do this in pencil first, please feel free. So I'm adding smaller circles inside the tires for the actual rim and the tire so there's a difference. And then I added a short line down the middle of the car for the door and added two little ovals for the door handles. And then the last thing is to add this slanted rectangle shape inside the window for the steering wheel. So the traffic light, we are going to start with a vertical rectangle and then we will taper it to give it a little bit more shape. So starting at the top left hand corner, pull that line in and down and then from the right, pull it in and down as well so that you end up with this tapered rectangle shape. And then we'll add this very short rectangle on top and one more on the top of that and then we will angle the very top one it kind of ends up looking like a coffee mug so we'll go over our shapes with our pen now just again so that we can have that clean template without having any extra lines in the way when we start to work with some of our other shapes After you've erased your pencil lines, pick up your pencil again and we'll add three circles going down the middle of our traffic light. And then we're going to add these little triangles that come off the side at the exact same height as each of those circles. So there will be three per side. And then we're going to round those out. So on that bottom facing edge instead of it being just this straight line we want to give it a little bit of a rounded portion so this is as if this was a four-way light and so there are lights on all sides and they have those little things that stick out over the light to protect them from the snow and the rain so now I'm just going over those triangles with my pen and then I'll go over the circles as well and after we've traced over our circles we just have to add a last few couple details so I'm going to add a little art shape above each of my circles so that they would be the exact same as those that you see from the side so there is a little piece that is covering those lights but you just don't see it and then I added a very narrow rectangle coming out the bottom for the pole and then I'm gonna pick up my extra small point pen and I'm gonna add grid lines inside each of those circles for the lights
For our last doodle, we're gonna draw a stop sign, and I have a really fun hack for you to draw this. So the we're gonna draw a rectangle, and I want you to make it two high and four long. And now we're going to flip that, and we're gonna make a perpendicular one that is right down the center, that is the exact same dimensions, except this time it's two wide and four long. And then we're gonna connect all those outside corners so that it makes this octagon shape. It's one of the easiest ways I've found to make an octagon. I know that it's not perfect as far as spacing, but it works really well and it's super easy to do, so it ends up working in the end. So I'm just going over the outside shapes because we can erase all those interior grid lines that we made. And then I'm adding a second outline or inline inside the stop sign because stop signs do have that white border around them. From here, I'm going to pick up my pencil and we're going to add the pole for the stop sign. So we're just going to draw a very narrow rectangle. You can mark the center if you want and then draw your lines around that if you want to make sure that it has a perfect center. And then the last step is going to be to write the word stop inside of your stop sign and then outline the word stop and the pole. And then you have completed three doodles for day 26 and we are done. So we're almost done with this and I'm getting pretty excited to finish up and see everybody's doodles all complete for the 30 days. Be sure to share your doodles with me on Instagram with the hashtag 30 days of doodles with TPP and tag me at the petite planner. I'd love to see what you're doing and thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video.